So you want to make a league, and you want to get a league hall. Let's go to league management. So, first thing we want to talk about is getting prestige, because when you first make a league, you're not going to have a league hall. You need 100,000 prestige to buy the league hall, and then you're going to need some more to move it. I would say about 30,000 after. So, realistically, about 130,000 prestige. Obviously, the more people in your league, the quicker you get prestige. Um, it does have a weekly cap. I forget what the cap is. So, if anybody remembers, please drop it down in the comments below. But from here, you can keep tabs on what's going on. If you look in the log, you can see what's happening, who's putting what into the bank, who's putting what into the uh, league hall decorations, who's taking stuff out of the bank, stuff like that. And of course, you can always see who's doing what. Right. Uh, but prestige, we're going to talk about prestige. And again, that's that little number in the top right corner there, 77,037. So, how you get prestige? You just run stuff, basically. <coughs> Everything you run will grant you prestige. Um, running anything will give you prestige. And some of the lower tier content in the omnibus from time to time will give you a token of prestige that will show up in your inventory just like a consumable so you go to your inventory and you just double click it and that's it it adds prestige um, when we were building when we built this league when we were building our league uh, what we did as far as trying to get our prestige the fastest is we took any extra gear that we had and we would come over here um, this is where it's moved but you want to come to this donation box it was recently put over here by the atom previously I'll show you where it was but you'll come over here once you have your gear that you're not going to use you click on it you can see it's going to give me seven prestige so we're going to donate it seven prestige we're going to donate it and you can see that number goes up and then of course we'll see these base items and you can see all of this stuff it adds prestige so that tells you how much underneath and it will add it so that is the basics to getting your prestige uh, just run basically everything it's really that simple and then any extra gear you got uh, definitely when, when you open it and select the roll if you're not going to use it or you're replacing old gear and you're not going to use it um, ideally you typically want to break that down and put it to, into your little metagenes your little augments but if you're working towards your league hall you would do this you would put it towards your league hall um, that is how you get your prestige now again you need at least a hundred thousand to buy the actual league hall and then you're gonna need to actually set it down so we're gonna come over here to living quarters this is where it recently moved to <coughs> and this is just in the house of legends there is one in the uh, hall of doom and the watchtower And we're going to go into our league hall here. And we're going to talk about uh, maintaining your proficiencies and where to actually buy those proficiencies. So it's going to be within your league hall. It's going to be a generator. Just like in your base, you will maintain it there. Now you do have to um, continuously earn prestige because you continuously will need to reinstate those proficiencies just like you do your base. Oh man. <laughs> Sorry about that, ping bot. Okay. 
So let's go through my week all here. And we're going to come down to the bottom. This be the middle room off to the side. Oh, you know what? I went to the wrong side. kind of get lost when you first get your week haul. We've had ours for a minute though. Anyways, here you go. So you're going to come to this generator right here. And this is where you will see your active stats. So you can purchase these for 25,000 each. Now again, you only have um a certain amount that you can earn each week and then obviously on reset day if you're in the US is Thursday it's gonna reset that day so as you can see you can tell how much time you have on each of these uh, looks like damage out is gonna go out in two days critical attack is gonna go out in five days uh, and so on looks like critical healing and power healing went out so we're gonna train that proficiency okay and because we can see damage out is gonna go out in two days we're going to go ahead and reinstate it now. And then our critical attack. Uh, it's going to go out in five days. We'll go ahead and reinstate it now. We don't really need the prestige for anything else. <coughs> so, everything there, as you can see, it's going to be good for a couple of weeks. Um, next Thursday, and we'll go ahead and reinstate the ones that are on 11 days. They'll be down to just a few days remaining. So we'll just reinstate it at that time. Um, as we go on, we will unlock these two here. But they're not really as necessary <coughs> as some of these other ones. So we got our damage out, healing out, health, power and supercharge, critical attack, might and precision, support stats, and so on. And you can go down the list and you can read what they do and what's going to benefit your week the most. Usually it's going to be the... Um, Power and Supercharge, Critical Attack, Might and Precision, Support Stats. Those are typically the ones you want to go with, and then Critical Healing and Power Healing uh, for the healers in your league. And then Healing Out and Damage Out. And then however you want to do it. That's how we do it. And then stuff like Health, Out of Combat Regeneration. We just kind of fill those in as we go. It's just a nice little cap off, and eventually we'll fill out these two here. So that is where you'll go to train your proficiencies in your base. Okay? Through the middle to the left, not the right like I did the first time. Alright, so let's go over here. Back to the other side. <coughs> and we'll show you the last thing. It's gonna be your bank. So Eventually, when you first start, you will only have, I think, the one bank, um, and then you have to unlock the banks as you go. Um, and I think you only have one or two rows, so you have to add new rows. So if we go to add slots, we can see it's going to be 7,500 for this next row. So you're going to have to have prestige for that. Uh, oh, sorry, 75,000. Um, I wanted to say it's like 35,000 for another bank. But again, it only gives you the one or two rows, so you need to add the slots as you go. You can add up to four actual banks in here. Bank 1, Bank 2, Bank 3, Bank 4. Of course, they'll all be in here. And then this way, you can set the tiers of how you want to do it. So if you want to have Bank 1 available to everybody like we do, uh, and you just kind of put whatever in there, collections, auras, stuff like that you think people will need. Um, in Bank 2, you can put some of the more serious stuff in there that you think people will need. Um, you know, for instance, I'm going to drop the stack of 99 in here. And if somebody needs it. Now, the way we set up our Bank 2 is that we gave it to... You have to be this rank in our league in order to pull something out. Uh, how you obtain this rank in our league 
you basically just stay in the league and you play from time to time and then hopefully you group up with us <clears throat> and then once you reach that league you're a trusted member um, typically I get somebody to this rank within 30 to 60 days uh, I always monitor who's playing who's not playing when's the last time they logged in stuff like that um, and then I will promote them accordingly you know up the rank you always start out as a fresh meet and then the next day if you're still with this you go to high inquisitor and then a week later if you're still with this you go to reaver lord and then so on and so on and so on it keeps going up until i feel like you're a trusted member then we get you to the second tier and you can see there you can actually pull stuff out of bank vault too uh... but not before that right so you can set your proficiencies um, I'm sorry, your banks up that way, and that's just an example of what we do. Uh, that way, you can trust the people that you're recruiting aren't going to take advantage of you. Because that was a big thing back in the day. People would go in and just clear out the banks. Uh, but that was also poor management. So, you can set roles accordingly. You know, we don't want to invite just anybody. So, we take that option off. It's only once you get up here uh, that you've been with us for at least a month that will give you the option to invite whoever you want to invite if you think they're a good fit for the league. So that's how we run our league. Um, but as far as actually getting the proficiencies, you just need the prestige. And as far as getting the prestige, again, you just play stuff, donate stuff. And that is pretty much it, guys. There's not really much more to be said about that. You just have to continuously play and earn prestige. So, I hope this was helpful. Uh, somebody did ask for a guide on the uh, league hall, how to get it. So, I figured we would just kind of touch on everything that has to do with the league hall. So, uh, obviously, those are not the default names of the ranks. You'll have to make your own, or you can just leave them as is. But I feel like having some, you know, nice names on your ranks will entice people to stay in the league longer. But thank you for tuning in, guys. As always, I appreciate it. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Will we out?